Well, hello there, Tom Green, coming back at you with some Figma goodness. And today's goodness completes the exploration of auto layout. So let's get started. And in this exercise, we're going to apply everything we learned about auto layout to create a common card element that could be used anywhere. As you can see, there are roughly three pieces to this card up at the top here. I've got an avatar and some text. I've got an image of Barcelona and I've got some icons that could be used to let visitors check out various aspects of Barcelona. To start, I'm going to select the text layers and I'm going to apply auto layout to it by clicking the plus sign. And you notice I got 34 pixels of spacing and I don't need that. I think maybe uh, 14 would work. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And I'm also going to name this container text. So I've got a container here for text. So if I select it, I can just move it around. And the next thing I'm going to do is select the avatar and the text, and I'm going to make it a container. So I'm just going to add auto layout. And really, all I need to do here is to change their spacing to about 14 pixels, maybe 16. Let's see what that does. And make it a little bit tighter. And maybe make it 10 pixels. There we go. And finally, I'm going to set the alignment to center. And as you can see, everything is lined up. So far, so good. The icons are already in their own container right there. And I should name this frame header. So now what I can do is now select everything. Just like that, right click and turn that into a container. And we'll just call this card. Uh, it doesn't look like a card because it's kind of got the pasteboard showing through. So let's uh, give the card a background color. Here we go. White. Not bad. Now to get this thing properly set up, I'm going to select the container card and I'm going to set the spacing to zero, which is going to basically jam everything up against everything else. Now the Header needs a little bit of air, so I can open up the card, select the header, and I can come over here, and I know it's already centered, so I'm just going to give it 16 pixels on the left, sixteen on the top, and sixteen on the bottom. That gives it a little bit of air. Next up, I'm going to select the image. And basically what I'm going to do when it resizes, I want it to fill the contents of the container, but I'm going to keep the height fixed. The icons are going to be handled a little bit differently. I want them to fill the container on the height and the width. And if I select my card and resize it, you can see everything is doing what it's supposed to do. Now let's uh, just make sure that these uh, icons are doing what they're supposed to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the container right there. And I'm going to give it 16 pixels of spacing at the top and the bottom. and 20 pixels on either side. And if I give it a little bit of a yank, you can see the icons do what they're supposed to do. The image expands and you'll notice our header just stays anchored in place. Of course, this is a card and it needs a couple of material design touches. So we're going to select the card and we're just going to round off the corners 
by 5 pixels. And if you're really into material design, you can add a small drop shadow. And there you have it. Using Auto Layout to create a card that can be used in a mobile UI viewed on a phone, tablet, or even a desktop screen.